Welcome to Minnesota State University, Mankato's Blakesley Stadium. This personal safety announcement is brought to you by our MSU Security Department. In the event of an emergency requiring the stadium to be evacuated, please proceed down the stairs in an orderly fashion of the nearest exit to where you are located. Further instructions will be given by event personnel. If you require physical assistance, please notify one of the event personnel at this time. The NCAA promote, promotes good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting tonight's participants and officials in a positive manner. Profanity, racial or sexist comments, or other intimidating actions directed at officials, student athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated and are grounds for immediate removal from the site of competition. Please join us in this commitment to fairness for all participants in tonight's contest. Thank you. MSU Athletics would like to thank Kibble Implement for the use of the John Deere Gator to help lead the Mavericks under the football team this season. time for the NSIC Sportsmanship Creed, read by MSU senior Casey Bednarski. 
The NCAA and the NSIC encourage and promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We ask that you cheer for your team and be respectful of their opponents. As Division II student athletes, we support a diverse and inclusive environment and we commit to fair play, responsibility, and respect. We invite you to support our effort. At this time, in honor of our flag and our country and in recognition of those who serve and protect it, we ask that everyone please rise, remove all headwear, and turn your attention to the stars and stripes for the playing of our national anthem, performed tonight by the Maverick Machine Athletic Band. Minnesota State will call. Your call, please. Heads is a call. It is a tail. Choose now or defer. Which way are we kicking? Kick this way. Okay, over here, please. Minnesota State, Mankato. Looks like he's going to get that. Southwest Minnesota State will receive the opening kickoff. Good luck, Ben. Oh, is he going the other way? No, he didn't want to try. And look, initially they were, but then they are going to reduce the toss, which is something you see 99.9% of the time. If you win the toss, you defer, you're receiving the ball to the second half. And I think coaches do that as uh, saying, hey, if we're in a tight game, uh, you want to get out to a good start in the second half, and knowing you're going to get your hands on the football first gives you a chance in the locker room to get ready. But I think Todd Hopper has got a lot of strength there, a lot of faith in his defense as well. I think so. And uh, that's something, you know, that we uh, really want to look for uh, early in this ball game because uh, he does have some new people back there. Hey, we should mention it's 75 degrees, 62% uh, humidity, winds out of the south at 16. We could get some uh, tea storms coming in about 10 o'clock this evening, but we'll be done. I'm going to say hopefully starting at 6.05, that we'll be able to get on tonight. I know early on the forecast are talking about the really mixed up. It's going to be really on the overnight, like about 2 o'clock in the morning. We're not going to be here then. The question is, will there even be a return here with the wind? 
good ball yeah, in the nice. direction of Casey Minarski's kicking. He might just boot this right out of the end zone. Number 15, Jim Zanandowski, number 15, Daniel Davis. Number 15, Daniel Davis. Number All the athletes from one of the Arizona teams that were at his funeral speaking today. Did you hear uh, where one of the ministers said, well, John will be looking around right now up in heaven. What channel carries the games for the Arizona Cardinals because he wants to be sure to watch Larry Fitzgerald? There you go, Larry, of course, <laughs> the Minnesota guy, and he was here as a speaker yes, today. All right, the blue off the tee once, but Darsky tries it again. Daniel Davis, Chance Nelson, the return man. They're back about the, their own five-yard line. Bednarski has it teed up. You can see it will remain in the tee as he approaches the ball to kick it away, and he's got one of the best legs in college football, D1, 2, or anywhere else you want to go. And it blows off the tee again, and usually the officials will step in and say, all right, we'll, we'll put a guy on there, and he'll hold it. You know, Mike, it says 16, to, uh, 16 miles per hour. I don't know about that. I think it might be well above that. Look at those flags the way they're flying. It appears to be. And there it goes again. Yeah, it appears to be more than that. I would have to think now they're just going to say you're going to have to take a guy out of the coverage squad and, and have him hold it. Yeah. Well, uh, one of the Mavericks will come over there to do that. And uh, that'll be uh, Kyle Schrodermeyer, the sophomore from Sioux Falls, South Dakota. He's going to hold it. And Benarski. Ready to get, uh, give it a go here. And again, he'll be kicking with the win. Turn man back about anywhere from the three to the five yard line. He approaches the ball and boom, here we go. Nice strong kick. This will go into the end zone and it's going to be fielded there, but it's also going to be taken by a fair catch. The nice kick off the end zone. Down 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 to the 20 yard line. 65 yards on the kickoff. Number two. Was the guy that uh, made the fair catch? He was about three, four yards deep. First down and 10, 20 Mustangs at the 25 yard line. 15 minutes put up on the board. And Southwest Minnesota State will get their first offensive look at the football in the uh, game tonight in the season. Talk about Blake Gimble will open a quarterback tonight. And the new offensive coordinator, uh, Coach Hopper, said, Look for a lot of stuff you'll see in NFL game Sunday. Three receivers wide to the near side. Gimble wants to throw it on first down. That'll go incomplete. Had a target. Over the pass into number six, Aaron six Aaron 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 14 pound sophomore. Incomplete. Gimble in the first play of the game. Second down. Feeling some pretty good penetration for Minnesota State's defensive line. Yeah, and I think uh, Alex Gettle from Mankato West was the first person to get to and put a lot of pressure on him. And we're, we're going to see that a lot this year from Alex Gettle. Trey Sachs will be in the uh, backfield. And a couple Number of wide outs to the near side. We'll get a full receiver look clean wise left and right. right. Second and 10 from the 25 yard line. Opening series of the ball game and the season. Mavericks playing on defense right now. We'll set the uh, defensive charges for you after this play. Gimble wants to throw it in the pocket. Let's it go. That'll be caught. Shy of first down yardage. Mavericks will slow that down That's a little bit there. Complete to Connor defensive Rookie. back by Tashonen Brooks, the sophomore, made the hit. And the initial target was Second Connor Wilkie. Second the play by the Brooks. Shy of Brooks. And number 2 and is that after the catch efforts gave him the first down, that'll be the first first down of the ball game. Move the chains. Well, and the and play, play, first down. Trying to generate a little move. They got a man in motion. Now they have to sack sweep to the left side. He'll get a block. Get to the outside. Game by five or six yards. Six, three, out six, of the six, three, line. Sent the MSU defense for you. Jamie LaPlante. Not that bad. Great number Thomas 20. Good. Michael Schuchel. And Josh right. Belusky. At the tackles tonight. The linebacking for Zach Roberts. And Alex Gibbs. Six yards. Game on the play. Second down. To Shona Brooks. Jack Curtis. Kay Johnson. And Cole Schrodermeyer. Of the safeties. Gain of six. Second and four. From the 42. And again, a sweep to the left side. Mavericks do a good job this time of not letting the running back turn the Sacks corner. On the carry. And that was just a good group of Minnesota State defensive tackle tackles. Tackle number 91, so Josh out there along the line of scrimmage. And number 96, and Nick Durek. The third game, well, right about where it was. No gain yeah, on the play. They, they, they just closed off that uh, turn it up field and ran into a whole host, probably four or five every time. All right, third down and four from the 42-yard line. Like Gimble now, looks like he's changing the play. He'll move Trey Sachs to his right side. Twin wides to the left, a lone wide after the near side. He'll go there. Trying to get a little block, and that'll be enough for a first down. 
And again, Pettis has to use a little time to throw it as he uh, found his receiver, Aaron Murphy. And Murphy, the sophomore at 6 4, made a nice move after the catch. That's what got him about four more yards. He picks up the first down. Second and first Almost to Minnesota State territory. And then we'll get our first marker. Sacks will get it. And his uh, forward progress arrested after maybe a yard. Minnesota State stacked it up. Jamie LaPlante. The 6'5", 250-pound senior. And you've got to look up and down the roster on all parts of this game, Casey, to find many seniors in this ball club. Absolutely. Because they're just starting a lot. That, that's true. And, and the, the, the yellow flag uh, was uh, was caused because that quarterback was able to see that the Mavericks had 12 people on the field. Uh, number 98. Uh, yeah. No, it was a I believe it was 99, Braden Thomas was late getting off the field. And he asked for the snap immediately. But maybe Billy was going to have to. Well players on the field. Yeah, the piece you called it, that's what it was. 12, the extra man in the field. So we'll get the walk off on that. That'll take it inside Minnesota State Territory and bring it down to the 48 yard line. So Minnesota State will get their first infraction of the night. Something you expect you might see those kind of penalties in the very first game of the year if you're going to see them at all. Yes. And the uh, KG veteran quarterback who knew what was going on. All right. It'll be first and five after the call. And he wants to throw that football. And again, he'll have a receiver. And uh, he'll drop it afterwards. Well, they say a catch. Pass completes complete to number 11. Yeah, they will call them to see that came out after the, uh, after the pack. Wilkie on the reception. That is another first down. All through the air. Pretty nice march for the Mustangs in the Maverick territory at the 38. Sachs will get it, and he's arrested after a very short game. So it's been an airborne game so far for the Mustangs in this very first series. has been the differential. That time it was LaPlante making the stop. Three wideouts, one to the near sideline. And they will go out toward that marker, and again, He's got some good variety, pretty tall targets to throw at Connor Wilkie at 6'5", 250 to get his second reception of the game. And they're chewing up some pretty good real estate in this very first place. Number 17, Jack Curtis. So third down and two from the 30 yards to Minnesota State. Out of the shotgun formation is where Dibble has been here on this first series of the night. He's looking toward the sideline now to see if he wants to change part of this call. They've got three wide outs to the near side. One long wide to the left. Sachs remains in the backfield. And he'll get the handoff. They tried to maybe get the Mavericks to jump around a little bit. And it was defense just shut the gate. Top and that one. Good job by Minnesota State right there to make that play. Tanner Hill. And made the stop. He just came right around from the backside. And he was good quickness in stopping the running back. First decision here for Southwest Minnesota State to have to make. It's a fourth down and one on the 29-yard line in Minnesota State. And I think the way they've moved the ball around a little bit, they've got a little confidence, so they're going to go for it. Tight end in motion, the slot left. Zach will get it. He'll turn the corner. He got a block. He's got first down yardage and more inside the 25-yard line down to the 24 of Minnesota State. This drive originated back at the 25-yard line of the Mustangs. That will be the second running first. Well, no, their first running first down, their fourth first down of this opening drive. So and right now they're moving around Casey like nobody's business. Yes, they are. Schrodermeyer, probably the first man to get to him over there on the sideline, but too late. 11.03 to go in the opening quarter. Mavericks have not touched the ball in the scoreless game so far. Pretty good protection, and again. If he's got time, he's going to thread the needle, and that's exactly what he does. Pass and that will be caught for good yardage on first down. Tackle made on the play by number 56. Second down coming up Davis. for Minnesota State. Eight yard gain on the play. Second like John down. Davis was the man who made the stop that time. Main of eight, second and two. And again, they'll go to the sweep to the left side, and Minnesota State stacks it up. There's a little bit of a battle after he's originally held up. Maybe gained about a yard to the Maverick defense. Did a pretty good job of pounding down on that a little bit. But Plant, who's been the active guy over on that side, was uh, the first to greet him. So we'll go down to a... No game in the play. It's third down and two. Ball to the Minnesota State 16. They've already illustrated that they're in four down territory right here, so don't expect them to not to try to go for it in four down since they've already done it. All this 
pretty much generated in their own. They picked up one penalty, five yards against MSU. Sachs will get it. Sweep to the left side, got a block. He's got first down yardage. Creeped inside the 15 yard line. Ends with 15. Mavericks finally put a So Schrodermeyer was the second guy there to finish the tackle. But now the first down is picked up. And a first down. So that is now a total of five first downs. Call of the Maverick 12 yard line. Let's see what will happen here. They'll go with a twin wide outs, so left and right. Max Simmons now is a running back in the backfield. And out of the pocket, it will just get rid of it because he was feeling all the pressure in the world. And the 6'5, 250 pound junior was breathing right down his neck. He just unloaded the ball case because he didn't really have, he didn't want to get sacked and lose a lot of yards. Maverick defense has uh, shown some pretty good quickness up front here so far. Well, you want to tighten up right here because you've given away about as much ground as you want to. Second and 10 from the 12. Simmons will get it. He gets stopped. Boy, nice defensive play. Schroeder Meyer just shut him up. Brought him down to the 15 yard line along with the play. So the Maverick defense stiffening up. Come up with a third down play, lots of uh, three yards. So it'll be third down and 15. I'll amend that third down and 14. 858 to go right down. Score was first and third play. Dibble's going to redirect his wide receivers. He'll stack him up to a three soon. Over on the left side. Max Simmons remains in at running back. Gimbal again has done a lot of the series looking toward signals from the sideline. Again, he's working with a brand new offensive coordinator as well this year. So everything is new for these guys for the Mustangs. Marker flying out of the pocket. Gibble's going to get away momentarily. Well short of the first down. Maverick's jumping back to the 15. Marker went flying uh, about snap time, so we'll see who that will go against. Even if it's only a five-yard miscue against Minnesota State, that would not be enough to pick him up a first down. But we'll see if this is a walk-off against the Mustangs. And if it is, and it appears like it might be here, at least the way the official standing. No, they're going to go against. Five yards penalty will result in a first down. So Mavericks again. Attention, Mavericks fans. Wells Fargo is giving you a one hundred dollar gift card. So we'll look at another five yard penalty. Your phones and text stopper to seven one four five one for the chance to be the first ball text to be a win. Fan of the game. Right now, a cloud is stopper to seven one four five one. Kate Johnson is on the beginning of the third quarter. Thank you to Wells Fargo for your continued support of Maverick Athletics. Third and eight, Maverick 10. 8.22 to go in the first quarter of play. Simmons remains in after running back. Gimbal under the gun. One lone wide out to the left side. A trio of wide receivers to the near sideline. And Gimbal's led this drive with long pounds offensively. Play clock down to three. Under some pressure. He's going to scramble out of the pocket, throw to the end zone. That ball gets knocked out incomplete. Great job defensively by Tashawn Brooks. Got him away to the receiver and knocked that ball down incomplete. That brings up a fourth down right here. Let's see what that'll get Minnesota State here in terms of if they'll look at defending a field goal. That appears to be what we're going to get right here. Yeah, Brooks had uh, the man from the front. Skyler Crow will be the man attempting this kick. That's from about the 16-yard line, so it'll be about a 26-yard field goal attempt. And that one is up. And we'll see if that tailed away in the wind. Uh, a good, long opening drive for Southwest Minnesota State. Comes up with croppers and this is a 26-yard field goal. And its score remains uh, right now, 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll take a 30-second break. You're listening to Maverick Football on KTOE. I'm Dr. John Springer, orthopedic surgeon at the Orthopedic and Fletcher Clinic here in Mankato. Most people know the term MRI, but don't realize there's actually a difference in MRI quality. At OFC, we have the most of energy machines available in southern Minnesota. More comfortable for patients, able to detect more than other machines, and deliver better quality images. It's one more reason to come to OFC, the Orthopedic and Fracture Clinic. Call or visit OFC-Clinic.com. To MSU Maverick Football on AM 1420 KTOE. Maverick first and 
And Case, that was a nice looking play thrown right at right along that sideline here. And then Slickty unloads in his first play. And then the Sunday picks up with a first down. And Shane Zilstra catches his first pace, uh, pass rather, of the season. Zilstra is the preseason South Division Offensive Player of the Year. He's a good one. He's really good. He's here on the uh, left side. They'll give it to Gunn, his first carry of the season. And Gunn gets forward forward progress. Not often when Gunn gets the ball that you know, and at some point, Case, he's in with forward progress. Because and he had some blocking along with him. He yep. muscled that out over the 35-yard line. Trevor Nissen threw a pretty good block there. Side line gain on the play. Second down. Pick up a five. That carries it to the 36. Second and five. Mavericks' first offensive possession. They dodged a Southwest Minnesota State field goal bullet there. Let's see what the Mavericks will get to do. We'll come down to John Harrington here after this next play. Mavericks stack up three receivers to the right side. Gun in the backfield. Zilstra comes out. They'll dump it off. That will be complete. And first down yardage of war, and that ball's going to go. He's going to try to get to the outside, and Minnesota State putting together with Nate Gunn, who made the additional catch. Roar away from the tackle, kind of muscled by another would-be tackle, carries it down into Southwest Minnesota State territory, and muscled it inside the 30-yard line down to the 28. First and then some on that play. Yards after being hit. How many times has he hit? That's two first downs right there. And again, if there's any questions about the incorporate the running backs into the air game for Minnesota State, they just took care of it there. Mavericks going to work offensively for the first time tonight. Zilstra under center. So Amina will come in at the uh, tailback now. And they're going to come out to the outside, and that's going to be carried down out the of bounds. Lance Barnes, Lance Barnes. Barnes. Mads Barnes who gets it here in the near side, and he, he found a little bit of an opening to work with and just kind of ran out of space. John, you're down about where Barnes just went out of bounds here in Minnesota State. They're working it fast. Game 13. So Maverick first down. Zilstra is here on the outside. And they're going to come back with Gunn. Gunn stumbled for a moment, broke a tackle, and he'll get stopped. But not until he's inside the dead end of the five-yard line. And he'll eventually get arrested there by Ben Speck, the linebacker. But that will be good for a nine-yard pickup. And the Mavericks have already reeled out three first downs in the series. And up again will go to Gunn. Gunn stopped the would-be tackler, reached to the goal line to try to break the, break the play. And that did it. That was a six-yard cross. He knew he was getting tackled about the waist, but a heady football player. He just kind of leaned out to the football, trying to break the play, and he did exactly that. Six points for the Southern State. Well, I've been impressed with the offensive line, too. Uh, they've made some holes uh, for their running backs, and they've given the quarterback plenty of time to throw. If this keeps up, they might set another record as points scored for a season. Bednarski now will attempt the extra point. Snap down is up, kick is up. And that is good. The Mavericks reach pay dirt on their very first possession of the season. 7-0, we'll take a 30-second break. You're listening to Maverick Football on TTOE. Hi, this is Tammy at Rickwick. to clean carpet on the planet? Romlox Smart Strand Carpet is the perfect answer. And when it comes to stains, Smart Strand's built-in protection is unmatched and won't wear or wash off. With all pet protection and warranty, covering all pets, all accidents, all the time, it's perfect for every member of the family, even the furry ones. For more details, contact Rickway Carpet at 1107 Cross Street, North Mankato. It's MSU Maverick Football on AM 1420 KTOE. That's going to be disheartening for the Mustangs because they had a really nice drive going for rotation and so on. And then to have the Mavericks uh, stop them with the white field goal and coming back with the offense and just cutting them to shreds. Two minutes and 17 seconds was all it took for MSU to, to turn that around into a, a touchdown drive after that long drive of 14 plays and then the missed 26 yard field goal by Southwest Minnesota State. You can see why, ideally in the game plan, 
for the Mustangs offensively, ball control. Yeah. But they got to finish those kind of drives by getting points. Otherwise, <laughs> if you give it back to the Mavericks and they try to turn it into a track meet, that's not going to work for them. No, it isn't. And uh, the Mavericks. Number 15, Casey Budnarski will kick it off for the Mavericks. Back for the Mustangs, number three, Daniel Davis, and number eight, Bailey Olson. John, you were down about goal line when Gunn broke that play. Pretty, pretty hits up smart move by the junior running back. Bednarski's kickoff out of the end zone for the touchback, 65 yards on the kickoff, no return, fourth down and 10 for the Mustangs at the 25-yard line. Fans, it's time to feed your wild side, proudly brought to you by Jack Link's Beef Jerky. The Maverick Street team will be handing out Jack Link's Jerky to the loudest fans in the stands. Jack Link's Jerky is a proud sponsor of Maverick Athletics. Jack Link's, the protein-packed way to feed your wild side. Well, you see what kind of adjustments that the Mavericks will make defensively yes. as well. The one thing Gibble has, he doesn't have a leading receiver back in the year call, but he's got a lot of, he's got some tall guys out there. They look like they're pretty good root runners, and they want to throw it on first down. They'll get to do his uh, running back on the outside there. He got Pass to complete to number three, Daniel Davis. Out in a hurry. That was Knocked out of bounds by number four, Ty Shannon Brooks. Tried to do the tightrope over there. Four yard gain on the play, second down. Four yards in the play, it'll be second and six at the 29 yard line. Seven nothing Mavericks here in the first quarter. Gimbal throws it, that will be a first down. And that's becoming a good one. to Wilkie. Tackle made by Tyshawn and Brooks. A senior player, and he'll get a first down. Brooks with the stop there in the sideline. But again, a very concise pass to by this young man. Seven yard gain on the pass play, first down. Only one of them has come on the ground. So they've pretty much cast their cards on how they want to do this. Gimbal takes the hand off that ball. Oh! 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 Gimbal oh! had it and didn't have it. And that was a surprise when all of a sudden you're looking around. Pass intended for number 80, Carter Cook. And I think that was the Knocked down by number 49, Alex Gimbal. That had some velocity. He had very little time to react. He tried. Second down and 10 at the 36 yard line. It'll be a second and 10 to the 36. Gimbal will finally breathe a massive sigh of relief right there. He wants to throw it on second down. I'll let it go. And it's just a boom. I like that. That was tough shoulder. Pass complete to number 26, Trey Sachs. Tackled on the play by number four, Ty Shannon Brooks. He did. I think uh, with Brooks, it was uh, sort of a situation where he said, I've had enough of this on the sideline. One yard loss on the play. It's the. Putting on some pressure. Now, but out to Sachs. He's going to get slowed down. He's going to get dumped in the turf. Is that Michael Palmy? Nice. And that's who it is. Michael Palmy, the senior out of uh, what's the point Dowling. The main stop right here. There's a historic school, football school, Dowling. It is indeed. They won their year. They won their year. They titles down there. 3.43 left to go here. This is the first quarter of play. We'll see uh, a punt for the first time tonight. Austin Wells, 5'9", 190-pounder, will line up about his own 20-yard line. Been ready to boot this football away. Justin Arnold waiting as the return man. This will drop in front of him. Arnold really doesn't want any part of it here. He's just staying away from the football. Then we get a little bit of a roll, but still pretty good field position for Minnesota State. Carries it inside the 30. Madan to about the 26-yard uh, line, and that's where Minnesota State will get it. First and ten, so some adjustments made, Gates, in the second offensive series, yeah. and a good job by the Maverick defense right there. Very good job. And one thing I've noticed is that the, the linebackers and the uh, defensive backs, they're talking to each other, constantly making adjustments on the field, and you have to do that to be successful. Well, looks like we may have a timeout. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take a 30-second break right here. You're listening to Maverick Football on KTOE.
The sweet scent of baked cookies, a lazy Sunday watching movies with family, sitting at the table helping your child with homework, having friends over for dinner, the sweet memories of home. At Lloyd Management, we believe memories are built by the things that happen in our day lives. Whether you want to rent an apartment or townhome, let us help you make yourself at home. We provide a complete range of affordable housing and market rental options. Give us a call today at 507-625-5573. Come make yourself at home at one of Lloyd Management's properties. We are an equal housing opportunity provider. will take over here, 3.18 to go in the quarter. I'm Mike Sullivan along with Casey Lloyd, John Harrington, Dusty Wilmots Engineering back at the studios on KTOE tonight because of Viking football coming up shortly in the fan and wrapping up the preseason. The rest of the year will be on our, our usual environs here, AM 1230, FM 103.1, the fan Mankato. So the Mavericks will go first and 10. Looks like we've got uh, a new man at the helm there, QB. J.D. Akawa in for the second series. Nice play fake on first down. He's going to air it out. Looking for Barnes downfield. Oh, he had it. He did. Boy, he was, uh, I thought the last position was going to get him there. He almost brought that away. Give credit to the Mustang defense there, uh, J.D. Jackson Hanshit, who, who stayed with the play. He did stay with the play. He had to wait for the ball just a little bit. But uh, had it been thrown, you know, maybe a foot farther, he might have had a touchdown. Second and 10 from the 27 after the incompletion. Nate Gunn in the backfield, the stand-up tailback. Double tight end look. Howell will give it to Gunn. Gunn gets into a little bit of a gap there. Not a lot of room to maneuver around and give credit to the white jerseys. For Southwest Minnesota State that moved in there. Made it Hunter Cushman, one of the uh, free safeties, moved up to the spot. And... Boy, I'm sure they went over the game films and said it when this guy gets his hands to the football, it's all hands on deck immediately. And it was that time. Gain of four, third down and six. A lot of times, gain of four is a, is not a bad game, but no. for God, it's called a modest uh, yardage game. This guy's quite capable of tearing up huge chunks. Twin wides to the near side, Zilstra wide to the near side, one lone wide out left. Down in the backfield, like how wants to throw the football, airs it out. He sails that over the head of his intended receiver. Pass intended for number 10. And that goes incomplete over on the uh, Southwest Minnesota State sideline there. I see that number. That's 16. I think it had to be. Yeah, that would have been. Uh, Back to the Jersey for the best time. Well, get the glasses out here. That incompletion makes it fourth and six. So the incompletion to start the series, slow things down there. Minarski will come on down to kick this football away. Oh my goodness. This one has a monster leg to it as well. Fair catch. And give Daniel Davis a lot of credit there. He lost a fair catch. And then he actually went and fielded the ball. Almost kind of an over the shoulder grab yes. there, but he did not allow that to, uh, to bounce any further than it was, although you look at it now, had it kept the zip that he had off his foot, it might have bounced out of the end zone, you got a touch back. Yeah. That thing had some hang time way up above the line. 16 yards on the boys. Now he's some people, the way, the I can say, he's lost a little weight over the year, yeah. and, and he had talked about, uh, Coach Hopner talked about it at the show the other night, he says he actually feels that he's gained strength. Sure. Yeah, he worked hard this summer, really hard. Ball at the 11-yard line of the Mustangs. This will be their third series of the game. They'll run it on first down again. They have doggedly gone to sweep left. And Max Simmons is the carrier. You're not going to get too far with that. Minnesota State will hold that to a short game. We get down to two minutes to go here. Kay Johnson uh, in and out of stop. And again, here's Simmons. Sweep left side. This time a little more running room. He got upended. But not before he picked up first down yardage. Tackle. And, uh, and make the stop. Spencer Hermes 
was the guy that basically knocked him off his pins right there. Back-to-back so -back runs. Second first down picked up by in that regard. They picked up seven first downs, but don't have anything to show for in the scoreboard trailing 7 nothing. But allowed Lennon trying to pick up a receiver screen and walk back against the teeth of the Maverick defense. Whoa, what a hit. Oh boy, and there you go. And this guy's laying the lever under the Brooks, who's the guy that cut across from the right side of the defense and hit the receiver as moving his left trying to pick up blocks. Is that play designed to kind of trap the Maverick defense off a little bit? That's exactly what he was trying to do. He do, or rather, pick up some blocks, and he just couldn't do it, and finally Brooks leveled it. Go come wide to the near side. Three receiver luck. And up inside, and again, this is uh, going to be a very short game. Minnesota's game so the shutting the door down right there on that right side. Tackle the the ball ball the the pound sophomore. We'll get a piece of that one. This brings up third down and long. It'll be third down and eight. Chance got his ankle. It's all that matters. Hang on for dear life. Third down and seven. 25 yard line. 37 seconds to go in a swiftly vanishing first quarter of play here at Whitesley Stadium. Play clock down to 11 seconds. And again, it's been the modus operandi so far. The Mustang offense is to take as much time as possible. Try to set up a receiver screen on that left side. Maverick smelled it out. There's Tommy. He's going to dump an awful big target to the next Carter Kurt. Anytime you can hold the forward progress of a 6'8", 253-pound senior, and then drive it backwards and knock him down, you get a little oomph going behind your tackle. No, you certainly do. That was just an excellent play. Like Zach Robertson was in on it, too. And I know, Zach's been running around there in the back of the line of scrimmage. I, I don't know if it's his job to call the defensive sets and plays, but it was something. All right, watch. we're going to take a 60-second break into the first quarter. 7-0 Minnesota State, you're listening. And putting the football away is Austin Wells. Now is the wind behind it. Arnold, nice catch. With his back turned to the defense, turns the other way. 20, 25-yard line, 30, and down to the 31-yard line. Knocked out of bounds there defensively in the uh, special team by Ben Speck. Linebacker for Marcus, Iowa. Mavericks will get their only their third possession of this football game. If you're just joining us, MSU scored in 2 minutes 17 seconds of the first possession with 80 yards and 6 plays. And an 8 gun, a 6 yard touchdown run breaking the plane is what did it. And he had the longest gain of the game on that res reception from uh, Schlichty, 36 yards. 31-yard line, Minnesota State will take over first and 10. And Schlichty back at the hill now. Each quarterback has had one turn. Gunn gets the handoff. Got blocked. He got forward motion. Got a great chunk of real estate for his uh, first run of the series. Churned, churned his way over the 35-yard line after about the 38. So good gain on first down for Minnesota State. That's missing. He likes the block. And he's good at it, he's too. He's good at it. <laughs> Second down coming up. Call it about three, maybe three and a half. Gun again. Gun hit in the backfield. That still did not deter him from carrying the would-be tackle over the line of him. scrimmage. Shy of the first down, but not by a lot. See where that gets spotted here. Pretty close. Pretty close. Number 92 brought him down. Uh, Hayden Acker. Uh, when, when, the, when the spot was and done, they said first down Minnesota State. State. And again, hit about a in case, but a half yard deep in the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. By a big man. <laughs> The uh, term game tackling definitely dedicated to running backs like this because you're going to need help. You're going to need help, that's right. Mavericks with their own 41-yard line, first and 10. Schlichty looks left, rolls right, has a receiver, Barnes, but he gets hit as he's going out of bounds, and the ball will fly out incomplete. <laughs> Pretty good man-on-man -man coverage we've seen today. That was good coverage. I would have to say, now last year, this is a team that won two games, didn't win a game in the South Division. The KC, they looked to me like a team that can be, right now, playing pretty competitive football. I think so, too. Here's Gunn. Gunn now will move to the right side. Short to uh, a few yards inside. They're outside the 40, up to close to about the 43 yards. Four yards, and all they say is knee went down. So about three yards. Three yards. So we'll be close to about seven yards. Third down play coming up. We've not seen the Mavericks uh, go to the title. We've seen him go to Zilstra once so far in the game. He'll come wide to the near sideline. Barnes will go to the uh, left side, along with Justin Arnold. Long count, one of the longest we've seen by Schlick. 
They'll get ready to the throw the football, and that'll go incomplete. Thanks to the referee. <laughs> 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 that had something to do with it. I'm not sure it had everything to do with it, but uh, he, he was sort of a foil. Well, that goes to complete. He was looking for Barnes. He had turned it in the backfield with him, but that'll bring him a fourth down. For the second consecutive series, Minnesota State will have to punt the football away, although they did pick up a, a first down on this one. Casey Casey Bednarski 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 and it shouldn't surprise us at all. No. This guy will probably rewrite all the MSU and Northern Sun record books before he's done. High snap win. from center. He's kicking against a win. They want a fair catch. This will take a Mustang bounce and roll, though, and give yeah. Southwest Minnesota State their best starting field position of the football game, about the 35. John, we've seen a back to back series for Minnesota State offensively where they've ended up having to punt, not right now finding any traction. 20 well, let's see what Southwest will do with it again. We know what their game plan is. Ball at the 36-yard line for the Mustangs. Blake Gimble being able to return for senior year. Pretty much missed almost all of last season with an injury. He'll hand off, and on first down, it'll be Max Simmons, the sophomore running back, trying to creep his way behind a couple of blockers over to the right side of Minnesota State. He pretty much sealed that off all the way along the border there and didn't let him get through. First man to get there, I believe, uh, he has some help. Second Is that correct? Badali Naba? Yes, yeah, number 97. That's what it looks like. We're going with it. Richard, freshman, West Des Moines. Gain of a yard. So is that another uh, Dowling Maroon? I think so. Well, of course, there's West Des Moines Valley too. Well, yeah, it doesn't say. strong program. And a handoff will come up the middle to about the 41. Next on the carry. Tackle made by number 29. Simmons is going to have a workhorse here. 5'9", 168 from uh, Bloomington. Well, Sachs had a lot of him. They were throwing the ball to him and, yeah. and running him, and he got... He had zipped a couple times yeah. there. In fact, the last time we saw him, remember, he got knocked to head over heels over on the uh, right side by Maverick uh, uh, defender. Yeah. Uh, Shonen Brooks. All right, third down and five from Mustang 41. Gimble wants to throw it a trio of wideouts again. They'll try to set up the receiver screen. Not going to go anywhere. Johnson, the sophomore safety, read the play, came in, made the stop. That was sick. So that makes it fourth down and five from the 37 in the Mustangs. As suddenly we've turned this football game into a battle of punts. That'll dispatch Austin Wells back out to try to kick the football away. Justin Arnold. Back to the for the Mavericks, number 27, Justin Arnold. Nobody's turned the ball over yet, although Minnesota State had an opportunity. Gettle got a surprise package, but not able to, to grab that bullet in. Arnold will take it. It is 15. 20. Nice move. 25, 27, 30. And let's see if the mark is 30 or 31. Read that, read that return pretty well. The veteran return man will got his team a little extra running room right there. Yes, he did. He did. Uh, he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. He with the lead in their opener, we had a timeout. We'll take a 30 second break. You're listening to Maverick Football here on TKO Hi, this is Chris Rowe, attorney at Bluffton Gage & Krauss. We have a long history representing farmers and ag-related businesses. As both a farmer and lawyer, I understand the legal issues faced by the ag community. If you need help with your ag-related legal issues, such as contracts, purchases and sales, wills and trusts, tax matters, succession planning or litigation, trust Bluffton Gage & Krauss. Please call us at 345-1166 or go to bluffinlaw.com. That's 345-1166 or bluffinlaw.com. 11-13 remaining here in the first half of play. Minnesota State with a 7 nothing lead. They scored in their very first series of the game. Went 80 yards in 2 minutes and 17 seconds. They gunned in a 6-yard run. Bednarski's extra point made it 7 zip. The Mustangs have moved the ball around the field throwing the football, but they've got nowhere to show for it. Their best series is their first, where they had a 14-play march and then ended up missing in a 26-yard field goal against the win. Mavericks have punted in the last two 
series and uh, we're going to see if they can try to gain a little more traction here on where they want to go. We've seen both quarterbacks so far. I don't think we've seen anything totally out of the ordinary for the first game of the year. Mavericks have picked up a couple of penalties. Mustangs none. A couple of little mistakes here, but I, I don't think anything I've uh, seen anything glaring so far for either no. team. Not at all. Zostra will come wide to the near side. Twin wides go left for Minnesota State. Nate Gunn in the backfield. J.D. Akawa gets his second series of the helm. He threw on first down in his first series in. Mavericks again here in the second quarter working against the win. First of six home games in the schedule. Akawa takes the snap and calls his own number. And boy, he just followed a little bit of line. He came out to measure where he could to lean for the first down yardage, carried it out over the 41 and picked up a first down. Tackling by number 17, DeAndre Green, and number five, Alex Dane. Very effective runner, patient when he needs to be, but you hear that phrase, quick feed, and he's got it. 12 yard gain on the play, and then Maverick. First down. First down will come one wides to the near side. First row wide left. Mavericks have gone in the backfield at the 43-yard line, pick up their second first down of this second quarter, and uh, that kind of slowed Zilstra down. The defense is going to slow it ends up going out of bounds because a college didn't have any other secondary receivers to go to. I yeah, think he kind of committed he was going to work into Zilstra out there, and that ball sails out. Corey Hollowell was the one defending, and he, he did a good job. Zilstra, I think, uh, you know, maybe thought, hey, is, that, is, that, is he holding me? I don't think so. Just took a quick look at the crowd here, in case the burn is full. Yeah. The visitor side, which has got a lot of Maverick fans over there, is pretty much full, and our side's pretty much full, period. Second and 10 for the 43 after the incompletion. Fake the gun. Akawa rolling to the near sideline, now tucks it in. 45 yard line, 50 into Mustang territory inside the 45. And works his way down to the 42 yard line. Finally, ultimately stopped by the Mustang defense. But now the 43rd linebacker Alex Nye was the last guy to get the a stop on him. And that'll be the second one in first down for that reason. They did in this quarter. Via the feed to J.D. Akawa. Planned run. He'll give it to Gunn. Gunn hit. About a yard in the backfield. And uh, yeah, this time there was plenty of help. I looked at one, two, three gold helmets that are there for the Mustang defense. Tackle made by number 94, Kyle Winter. Uh, Richard Ayers, a defensive end. Number 243 was the first guy to meet him. Richard Ayers. One of their real veterans, uh, Shane Repkovich, uh, also in on the stop. Yeah, probably two or four. No game play. Second down. And give him credit. Him every time. Give him credit because they stopped and pulled second yeah. and ten. Yeah. Mavericks will have a uh, twin wide, well, they'll have a wide on each side. Barnes will come wide to the near side. Parker Glutemans goes wide left. Uh, here's uh, oh. Minnesota State trying to come back the other way. This is going to get broke outside and get taken all the way from a 43 yard touchdown run by Vance Barnes. Got that a little bit of delay, and then Barnes, the rest of the defense, got a bit of an opening, and when that got turned into a full race, that was all done. But there is a marker in the end zone. So Maybe excessive celebrating or something? Yeah, that's kind of a, it's going against Minnesota State. But we'll see if that actually affects the play or was thrown, as you said, after the play. <laughs> and that's something. Aren't you supposed to have fun in football? Well, you know, but they have, they have have, coach has got to have something to say sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a 15 yard penalty assessed on the kickoff. I must admit, when Barnes uh, went into the end zone, he went over here in the corner. I didn't see what was going on. At, all, but, uh, at any rate, uh, he is a track man, and he showed it. Well, he did. He turned the middle of the field into his own personal lane, personal race. Right. Casey Bednarski will get ready to take it away. Arnold in the hold. He's one for one to start the year. He's one for one to start the year. First time he is kicking against the wind. And this one is up. Over the bird. Phoenix through the wind. Against the wind. Look what he did. Oh, man. Mavericks make it 14-0. We'll take a 30-second break. You're listening to Maverick Football on KTO Week.
Scoring summary for the Mavericks, five plays, 69 yards in 1 minute 47 seconds. A 43-yard touchdown run by Vance Barnes, and the extra point is good. Mavericks 14, Mustangs 0. Dave made short work of it. That was a five-play, 69-yard drive, elapsing in one minute, 47 seconds. 43 yards officially for Vance Barnes. And again, the big thing was he got the little delay. Once he got out of the little pack in the line of scrimmage, Casey, he, he found an open area, and we talked about he made it his own, and then no one was going to touch him. No, absolutely not. And, uh, you know, it reminded me of uh, years and years ago. Nebraska was playing the University of Minnesota. Memorial Day in the old one. And I think they won the game something like uh, 78, 79, 81 to nothing. And in every time a Nebraska back got hold of the ball, it looked like well, let's see. Should I go this way? Ah, that's too easy. I'll go this way. I think I remember the game you're referring yeah. to. I think Johnny Rogers scored oh. a touchdown running into the end zone backwards. Yeah, it was and ridiculous. said, why did you do that? He goes, because I'd never scored running into the end zone backwards before. <laughs> well, that was quite a group they had back in that era. Oh, my goodness. That was something. They, they beat up everybody. Here's Bednarski now. The Mavericks with a 14-0 lead. This is a short kick into the win and a little return opportunity here but not a lot of return opportunity scored yeah, out of bounds of the play daniel davis he's out of tarpon springs florida 174 pound junior that'll give the mustangs possession with 9 22 to go in the first half of play and here's where if you're the mustangs you got to be thinking casey we gotta we gotta get on the board we've got to find a way to score in this football game What's that, Team Boyer? Team Boyer. 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 Last play broken up by number 36, Keyshawn Davis. Second and 10. Trey Sachs on the carry. Tackle made by number 95, Michael Buto. And number 32, Spencer Hermes. No gain on the play. It's third down. Ten yards to go at the 49-yard line. Ten yards to Pass intended for number 85, Carter Damlo. Incomplete. Fourth down. Austin Wells comes on to punt it away for the Mustangs. Back to receive the punt for the Mavericks. Number four, Ty Shannon Brooks. on the return. Tackle made by number 27, Ben Specht. Timeout on the field. It's a two-minute media timeout.
25 yards on the punt, 12 yards on the return. First down and 10 for the Mavericks at that 28 yard line. Schlecky's pass complete to number 10, Jalen Sample. Tackle made by number 16, Jadarian Jackson Hanchett. Ten yard gain on the play and a Maverick first down. Number six, Justin Taramina on the carry. Tackle made by Alex Nade and Hunter Cushman for the Mustangs. Seven yard gain. Second and three. Schlichty complete to number 84, Shane Zilstra. Number four, Corey Holloway with the tackle. Nineteen-yard gain on the pass play, and another Maverick. First down. Thank 
number nine, Patrick Vignette Finley from Ontario, and the assess on the kickoff. The touchdown is good. And the point after is good. Thank you. 
Keyshawn Davis. Davis on the return for the Mavericks. Title made by number 15, Hunter Cushman. Fifty-two yards on the punt, thirteen on the return, first down and ten for the Mavericks at the twenty-three yard line. <laughs> Nate Gunn on the carry for the Mavericks. Knocked out of bounds by number fifteen, Hunter Cushman. Six yards on the punt, a 
loss of two on the return. First down and ten for the Mustangs at the 43 yard line. Summary for the Mustangs, five plays, 58 yards, one minute, 15 seconds. A 30-yard touchdown pass from Gimbal to Wilkie. The extra point is good. Mavericks 21, Mustangs 7. Kick off into the 
Brings down and 10 for the Mavericks at their own 25 yard line.
Attention fans, Kiara Rosenquist, one of your lost items at the ticket bunker. Kiara Rosenquist, your lost items are at the ticket bunker. Quarterback 
Electric Sack on the play by the Mustangs, number 25, Auntie Burns. Loss of seven on the play, second down. Complete to number six, Justin Terramina. Tackle made by Corey Hollowell. Ten-yard gain on the play, third down and seven. Intended for Justin Arnold, incomplete. Fourth down.
Casey Bednarski on for the point after. And the hold from Arnold, the extra point is good. Scoring summary for the Mavericks, 10 plays, 75 yards, 3 minutes and 41 seconds, a one-yard touchdown run by Nate Gunn. The extra point is good, Mavericks 28, Mustangs 7. Number 15, Casey Bednarski will kick off for the Mavericks. Incomplete pass on the play. Penalty marker down.
illegal touching of the football by an ineligible receiver on the offense from the 71. That's a five-yard penalty and a loss of down. It'll be fourth down. Number 34, Austin Wells comes out to punt for the Mustangs. Back deep for the Mavericks, number 27, Justin Arnold. Arnold on the return. Tackle made by number 27, Ben Specht. And number nine, Taji Smith. Forty-nine yards on the punt, ten yards on the return, first down and ten for the Mavericks at the thirty-seven yard line. The Collins pass intended for Tyler Schmidt. Incomplete. Second down.
pass complete to number 84, Shane Zostra. <laughs> 11 yard gain on the pass play. Fourth down and eight. On the punt for the Mavericks, number 15, Casey Bednarski. Back to receive for the Mustangs, number three, Daniel Davis. Bednarski's punt into the end zone for the touchback, first down and 10 for the Mustangs at the 20-yard line. Fans who want a free Pizza Ranch buffet. Stopper will be handing out certificates to some lucky fans. All you need to do is stand up and get loud for Stopper and he'll decide who the lucky fans are. Stop by Pizza Ranch this weekend and enjoy an assortment of pizzas located on Madison Avenue.
Terry. One yard gain, second down. Pass intended to number 81, Patty Devlin. Incomplete, flag on the play.
Mustangs punt into the end zone for the touchback. It'll be first down and 10 for the Mavericks at the 20-yard line. Hey fans, do you want to be the row of the game? Make some noise as the Mavericks Street Team will be looking for the loudest row to be today's Dickies Big Yellow Cup row of the game. And thank you to Dickies for your continued support of Maverick Athletics.
summary for the Mavericks, three plays, 80 yards in one minute's time. 11 yard touchdown pass from Shanty to Zilstra. The extra point is good, Mavericks 35, Mustang 7. Casey Bednarski will kick it off for the Mavericks. Back to the seat for the Mustangs, number 8, Bailey Olson, and number 46, Shayla Burnell. Passing 10 for number 10, 
Cadre Bosari. Incomplete. That is the end of the third quarter. Maverick fans get on your feet as the Mavericks Street Team brings out the Gatlin Gun, provided to us through the generosity of the Minnesota State and Cato Foundation. They'll be shooting Maverick T-shirts into the stands. Make some noise for the Street Team.
pass complete to number six, Aaron Murphy. Tackle made on the play by number one, Parrish Murray. And number 30, Kay Johnson. A one yard game on the play. It's third down. Third and goal at the five yard line. Gibbous pass intended for number 80. Taylor Cook, incomplete, flag on the play. Socks to the back here. Touchdown, Mustangs. Four minutes and 42 seconds, a three yard touchdown run by Trey Sachs. The extra point is no good. Mavericks 35, Mustangs 13. Justin Terramino, the ball carrier. Oh, 
Tackle made by number 92, Hayden Acker. And number 25, Auntie Burns. Ikawa's pass complete to number 10, Jalen Sample. Tackle made by number 23, Shayla Burnell. 17 yard gain on the pass play and a Maverick first down. Pass complete to Justin Arnold. Tackle made by number 23, Shaler Burnell. Three yard gain on the play, second down. And the point after is good. Scoring summary for the Mavericks, four plays, 74 yards in 1 minute, 31 seconds. A 51-yard touchdown run by J.D. Kawa, and the extra point is good. Mavericks, 42, Mustangs, 13. Casey Bednarski set to kick off for the Mavericks. Back for the Mustangs as number eight, Billy Olson, and number 46, Arthur Cox. Pass 
complete to Daniel Davis. Tackle made by number 28, Lucas Burlington. Kimball complete to Davis. Knocked out of bounds by number 20, Cole Schrodermeyer. Seven yard gain on the play, first down. Max Simons, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number 42, Jordan Berger. And number 93, Jake Schaefer. No gain on the play, second down. Number 17, Jack Curtis. And number three, Zach Robertson. Ten yard gain on the pass play, first down. Max Simons on the carry. Tackle made by number three, Zach Robertson. Second down. Simon's the ball carrier. Tackle made by number 32, Spencer Hermes. And number 36, Keyshawn Davis. Flag on the play. Then we go for Mason on the offense. Five players in the back of the lane. Five yard penalty for two second down.
The ruling on the field, the player was down. The player was down by contact, no fault the second guy. Tackle made on the play by number 68, John Dickey. Pass intended for number 10, Jalen Sample. Incomplete. Third down. Casey Bednarski will punt for the Mavericks. For the Mustangs, number 13, Chance Nelson to receive. Thank you. 
Pass intended for number 14, Parker Glutemans. Incomplete, second and goal. Seven JD E. Kawa on the carry. Four plays, 31 yards, one minute and 18 seconds, a 12 yard touchdown pass. From Ikawa to Glutemans, the extra point is good. Mavericks 49, Mustangs 13. Casey Bednowski will kick off for the Mavericks. Back for the Mustangs is number eight, Bailey Olson. And number 36, Arthur Cox. Number 
36, Arthur Cox, the ball carrier. Tackle made by number 55, Destin Woody. One yard gain, second down. Number two, Boyer Bowman's pass is complete to number seven, Gabe Gallimore. is tipped at the line by the Mavericks by number 51, Logan Roof. Fourth down and three. Number 34, Austin Wells on to punt.